Welcome to the video guys. Today I'm going to be showing you my Drylands Desert Village on the Sea. First I'd like to thank everybody who's been showing me support. I wouldn't even be doing YouTube right now if it wasn't for the love that I got on my first video. So that being said, let's jump right into it. My village is surrounded by water. Every single corner is touching land. I didn't plan that out. That's just how it worked out because I knew for as soon as I saw this waterfall and the open space in the, in the middle, I knew that I was going to use this for my village location. The first thing you'll notice is the swimming pool in the middle. Obviously, um, I actually built this foundation from the bottom of the ground, uh, uh, the bottom of the water from the seabed. I built it off of that because before last patch, you would spawn when you logged in underneath your floor. So I figured building the foundation from the from the actual ground up in the water would prevent that, but I found that logging in would just spawn me inside of a foundation piece which was like just as bad you know now it's fixed everything's fine and i have these statues all facing inward and they alternate from the statue with the sword to the statue with the axe they just go back and forth all the way around and they're all facing the water <laughs> look there's fish sticks and nugget just chilling i know there are a lot of other little improvements that i can make on this but the way i see it is i've basically filled up all the empty space and, you know, that was my goal. I didn't want any, like, awkward, open, empty spaces. But, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wait till it's nighttime so I can show you what it looks like at night. So here is what it looks like at night. If you see the tricks I used with the lighting, then you'll know. This is pretty crazy. I kind of stumbled upon this trick. I'm probably going to make a tips and tricks video for, um, for building and lighting. But... I basically, I put these candles throughout these breezeways, breezeways like this on both sides and it ended up lighting up through the corners and through the holes in the floor. So now it's like a really cool lighting effect that I have here. But I said, huh, I should use that on my swimming pool. And as you can see, I did, I actually broke the foundation blocks behind this. I put thin ones here and I put a bunch of candles layered all the way around the edges of this entire swimming pool. Um, I also threw these tiles in the bottom and I, it was really sketchy. Like if I would have messed up on one tile and misplaced it, there's no way to destroy it. Like it's too deep in the water to destroy. Like I would have, I would have just been screwed. And I would have had to lift the whole floor up and build above it. Anyways, I'm glad that worked out fine. I put these plants, I wanted some greenery, 100%. I think every village should have plants. It just makes it look better. Adds more color. So I did all slap berries because this is like my fishing village. And uh, you, as you know, you need a lot of slap juice in order to make all the epic bait buckets you need for fishing and catching all those legendary fish. So I went ahead and planted over 100 of these. There's probably like 120 of them, somewhere around that. If you notice, the floor looks really cool, right? Now this is the shack floor. But what I did is I rotated every single floor tile by one, every other one. So like this one goes straight, this is sideways, this is straight, this is sideways. And I think it's like really, really cool. I like it. I could have just threw them all in there, but it wouldn't look as textured and unique, I guess. When I was streaming, somebody in my chat, one of my viewers said that I had too many lights on here. So I destroyed these two and I destroyed that one and I looked at it and I think it just looks better with more lights with, all, with it completely filled in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about that though. Also, I need your guys' help. Okay. I really need to like your guys' opinion on whether I should have, obviously I shouldn't have wheat here, but whether I should have this little planter here. Like, should I have a crop growing between these benches like that? Or should I leave it like this open? And if so, which crop should I put there? I'd really like to hear feedback on that. Let me go to my map real quick. I moved my main hub, my grasslands village from here to over here. And I'm building my shore village here. And the really cool thing about it is I don't need these tall ladders and I don't need jump pads. I can just literally put three wave break charms on and swim. I swim to here. There's a sandbar. I can, while I'm walking on the sandbar, I get all of my stamina back and I make it in two, in two swims. So everything's working out perfect for me on this server, which is my only server. Um, 
Yeah, I was also thinking about putting lights underneath the floor here and lighting up these statues. Wait, I actually did it on one of them. Which one was it? There's so much light now, it's like hard to tell, right? Oh, it looks like it might be this one over here. Yeah, there's more light here. Yeah, I, I put it on this side, it must have been, because the wheat's lit up over on this side. Like I said, I'm really open to suggestions, and hopefully I give you guys some ideas of what you um, want to do with your villages. I know I didn't want to use the same uh, building materials. I want to use use the only the desert building materials, which I did. These railings, everything is actually the desert other than the flooring. And uh, I guess this, the slot berries are grown on the beach, which technically the beach is right over there. I think that concludes this video. If you guys have any questions on how I did anything, or if, like I said, if you have any suggestions for me, let me know in the comments. I respond like immediately. I'm pretty much on all the time. As you can see, this is survival and I did do this solo. So it did take me quite a bit of farming and, and whatnot to get this thing the way it is right now. Other than that, I appreciate you guys stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.